Hey everyone, I am Krishna. So I have secured All India Rank 8 in NEET UG 2022 examinations. So I am here to discuss some of the important topics and uh, chapters which uh, I feel are a little bit of more importance than the other things. So generally uh, what I would suggest is that all the topics and chapters that are prescribed in the NEET syllabus are equally important. Uh, that's what uh, like that's what I followed. But there are some topics uh, that uh, you know uh, which are given a little bit of more importance in the final exam as well. Uh, be it in the number of questions or uh, you know the uh, frequency in which they, they they might be asked repetitively in the NEET exams. So uh, some of the topics I am here to discuss. So we'll go subject wise, starting off with biology. Um, you, uh, in the first year 11th uh, syllabus, human physiology is very important um, uh, especially because uh, the NEET exam is focused mainly on uh, MBBS and uh, you know more of uh, human physiology is going to come in the uh, future sessions as well. So NEET, uh, uh, so in the 11th syllabus, uh, human physiology plays a very important role. Apart from this, um, you know, the, there are lessons like uh, plant kingdom and uh, biological classification which are also important and cell, uh, cell is also one of the things that is uh, really important, uh, you know, questions uh, like cell, uh, the entire unit, the cell, biomolecules and cell, uh, cell cycle division, all, all of these are very, very important and frequently questions can also be asked from this as well. So, um, and also um, plant physiology is also equally important. Um, so, uh, like transport in plants, photosynthesis, uh, respiration in plants, all these are uh, uh, very important and uh, frequently questions uh, can come from this and I have seen in many mock tests as well, questions being focused more on these topics as well, apart from human physiology. Um, in the 12th syllabus, uh, reproduction, uh, the entire unit is very important, a uh, lot of questions are also asked from this and uh, frequently the questions are also repeated in the previous year's papers, uh, I have seen a lot of questions have been repeated also. Coming to the uh, least important part, I, I felt that the least important was the ecology part and the environmental uh, issues that lesson part, uh, the questions are asked very rarely from that, but I would suggest you uh, for biology, especially for biology, please do not prioritize it as uh, important and uh, like important chapters are these one and you have to focus more on this, but definitely do not skip out on any topics uh, or subtopics, but because any corner of the textbook can be asked. So coming to chemistry, um, so we can divide it uh, for our convenience into uh, inorganic chemistry. Um, organic chemistry and physical chemistry. Um, so in organic chemistry from the 11th syllabus, uh, all the elements, all the uh, like S block and P block, all, all of these are very important. Um, reading the NCRT line by line is very, very important and the table of columns, the values and the trends. All these are uh, very important to uh, know in inorganic part. So um, like the S and P block. <coughs> SNP block and uh, also uh, yeah coming to organic part uh, we have the general organic chemistry GOC in the 11th. So GOC is very very important it is the base for any organic chapters that are upcoming in the be it in the 11th or 12th syllabus. GOC learning and practicing GOC again and again is very very important especially the mechanisms uh, and stuff uh, maybe in neat examination they, they may not ask they may not go in depth for the mechanism and stuff, but I would suggest you have a glance over it, especially because I liked organic chemistry, I used to uh, read a lot about the reactions and the mechanisms, just because it will be easier for you in the future, uh, future upcoming chapters, it will be easier for you to grasp the concept if you know the reactions and the mechanisms as well. So uh, GOC is very, very important. Apart from this, uh, there are there is a chapter hydrocarbons uh, that is also very very important like aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons that is also very very important in 11th. And uh, so in inorganic 
<coughs> in um, so in 12th, uh, 12th standard you again have the p uh, p block d and f block and uh, complex compounds as well so all these chapters so for inorganic it's similar to biology so reading ncrt line by line and also uh, remembering everything is very important so uh, p block d d and f block <coughs> and complex compounds complex compounds is very important so uh, in organic chemistry of uh, 12th class uh, reading ncrt is important uh, in the 11th class there is not much of information that is given uh, you know about goc and all the reaction mechanisms i would suggest you can refer some extra content for that uh, for that only um, <coughs> for 12th standard uh, ncrt is very important because ncrt has a, a lot of information if you go through the ncrt textbook so uh, uh, aldehydes is very important like aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids ketones and uh, aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids uh, this is a very important and even nitro compounds also very important i have seen lot of questions from that as well nitro compounds yeah so physical chemistry uh, uh, the 11th the syllabus is in such a way that uh, the 11th uh, physical chemistry uh, has a lot of basic chemistry and uh, it's very important to you know know the chemical bonding and uh, chemical bonding molecular structure and uh, you know thermodynamics aspect as well because these are going to repeat in your future uh, future chemistry chapters as well so knowing chemical bonding is one of the very important chapters um some people categorize it in uh, under uh, inorganic chemistry but i would like to call it under chemical uh, phys physical chemistry so chemical bonding and uh, thermodynamics is very important again uh, <coughs> you would have chemical uh, thermodynamics in chemistry and thermodynamics in physics as well so both have a little bit of difference but uh, knowing thermodynamics in fingertips is very important a lot of questions come from chemistry as well as physics um so thermodynamics and states of matter and uh, coming to the uh, 12th standard uh, electrochemistry is very important again they ask a lot of questions i have seen a lot of questions from uh, you know nernst equation based uh, substitution questions and uh, you know uh, other chapters like chemical kinetics as well so they they have asked a lot of you no know, even though the questions are like uh, simple substitution based questions i would suggest you to practice uh, practice a little bit of uh, de in uh, depth uh, and also practice the derivations of the formulas in especially in case of uh, physical chemistry and also physics because derivation you know uh, it improves your co conceptual understanding and uh, suppose in exam you forget any formula you can uh, you can arrive it uh, by using the derivations and also it include it uh, uh, fasten fasten up your calculation speed as well electrochemistry and chemical kinetics are very important <coughs> so coming to physics for the 11th standard first year um, nlm is important nlm and rotations nlm rotations and oscillations and waves also very important so uh, i mean it doesn't mean that only you have to read those but you can uh, go uh, a little bit of in depth in these chapters i would suggest because i, I had done a lot of uh, rotation kind of problems and uh, loss of motion and also waves i have practiced a lot so a uh, little bit of extra uh, uh, away from the ncrt textbook so and uh, coming to 12th magnetism is very important a lot of question uh be it be, uh, be it you know theory based questions or also uh, numerical based questions they have, they have asked from magnetism chapter like magnetism and electromagnetism and uh, you know uh, surprisingly the uh, alternating current chapter is uh, actually quite simple because the uh, problems that are coming are basically just uh, substituting with the formula that has been given and uh, they have asked a lot of uh, you know uh, problems in alternating current as well so i would like to put alternating current also in this and electromagnetic induction if 
finally one uh, you know uh, one um, chapter that i uh, like one area of physics where i felt it was very interesting is optics optics uh, uh, you know even though uh, questions are asked from optics but not like more difficult type of questions but i was personally interested in optics and i focused a lot on optics as well so i would like to put here so uh, yeah so uh, we have completed um, discussing the important topics and chapters for uh, neat examination uh, from neat point of view so uh, <coughs> yeah th these are the areas where you have to focus more but it doesn't mean that you have to not uh, neglect other areas so uh, definitely uh, uh, you know cover all the syllabus that is the best and uh, always recommended so uh, i wish all the neat aspirants uh, all the very best uh, to perform your future examinations so uh, let's crack it